Okay, 2,500. Never seen this dude in my life. Oscar, Gerardo, Sanchez, Enriquez. Okay, well, I'm outnumbered. Uh, he has more names than me. Let's play a Scandinavian. Okay, I almost played Queen E5. I mean, that would have been really, really bad. Uh, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here, so let's just take... And develop. This is very boring. He played in a very boring way. Very boring. I mean, ew. What is he? What, what is he doing? Is this like some. What is this? <laughs> this is not chess. This is bad. This is all. This is not good. What is he doing? I mean, I have a six, b five. A6. I'm playing like a Sveshnikov. It's like a Sveshnikov Sicilian. I'm gonna put a bishop on b7 and castle. I mean, I... This looks very, very bad. And this is actually kind of like a lesson in how to handle bad openings by your opponents. Um, I mean, I could have castled, but I didn't want to allow his knight to re-enter, and so I'm investing a move into restricting the knight, as well as threatening a fork. And if he plays knight e4, then I will castle, because at that point, I'm just gaining time on him, because he will need to trade. Yeah, this is a move, but, like, isn't it terrible? I don't... Rook a7, bishop e3 is a major question, like, if this is bad, but c5? Rook d1, rook d7. Yeah, look at this, I have this cool idea. Yeah, I have c5, rook d... This is really funny. Rook d1, rook d7. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have to play rook d7, actually. I can play, like, queen a5. But, I, I mean, I want to play rook d7. It looks smart. But I also want to play queen a5. It also looks smart. I mean, let's play rook d7, right? I feel like it, it seems like the right move. Very, uh, very, very goofy opening. Now I want to take with the queen. I think my knight should go to c6. But knight bd7 also doesn't look bad. And then I'm not really sure what he's going to do. But this enables this. Ah, does he have knight b5? Ooh. Then let's take like this. Knight b5 was tricky. This looks horrible. This looks really bad. Uh, I should castle before doing anything else, probably. Yeah, so now... Now we start the attack. Now we start. Now we start sniping. Bishop f5 is an interesting move. Knight g4 could be interesting. Knight g6 is. Uh, wait, isn't his queen trapped? Am I on drugs? His queen is trapped. Queen g5, h6. His queen has no moves. Every single square is covered by one of my pieces. He resigns. <laughs> oh! Viva Mexico, cabrones! Oh! Oh my god! No mames, cabron! Oh my god, he lost the queen. Nosotros ganamos la reina con caballo G6. Okay. No mames, wait. La... I forget how they say other things, but. Okay, we won the queen. Boom. Queen D1? What, here? Yeah, it's a good move. All right, that was a nice game. That was a good game.
Yeah, I think... Um... Oh, no, I can't do Joey Diaz. He's really funny, though. Dude, I, I, I listened to a podcast with Joey Diaz on Joe. Uh, on Joe Rogan's podcast. And Joey Diaz's story is crazy. Queen G5? Yes, yes, boys and girls, yes. And how do we win the game after Queen G5, boys and girls? How do we win the game? I, I said it already, but I, you know, you guys are a little bit... Maybe you were watching the stream on mute. Yes, very good. Very good. We just... We just go boop. We just, just make a little boop. And if you want to make it a, a Nordic boop, you get boop. You make a little boop. And the queen is trapped. And this, my friends, is why you don't play queen e2, queen f3, queen g3, and queen h4 in a game. This, this brother straight up just got his queen trapped on his own. Like, he completely... And, you know, he... Yeah, that was... Uh, Ah, uh, you want Russian boop? Okay, I can give you Russian boop. Okay. Boop. You need go boop, yes? Yes, no. I, uh, I get recommended this account on Instagram Reels. It's like a boxing school in Russia. And it's this bald Russian trainer, and he's always like... He's always giving like some super like technical body advice. He's always like, your shoulders are like the mechanism. Rest, rest. I don't know if any of you, I don't know the name, but it's like box school something. His advice is so good. I, I, I really enjoy watching the clips. He's like a really, really knowledgeable trainer. So. Wow, you got advice from Chael Sonnen? How'd you do that? Did you ask him a question on Patreon? Should I make a Patreon, by the way? I know people make a lot of money on Patreon, but if I made a, a, a Patreon, I feel like uh, I, I would want to do, like, uh, lessons and, you know, analyze games and, and stuff like that. And um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people... I don't know. 